Another method for combining images into the same document is to paste into a selection. And right off the bat, you should probably be questioning, well, why would I want to do that, right? You already told, showed us how to do something similar to what you see on screen, but you said, use a layer mask. Non-destructive editing is important. And if you just kind of erase the inside of the tunnel and you replace it with an image beneath it, that's maybe not the best option for what you want to do. Um, but if you follow the steps that are outlined on the screen here, you will automatically make a layer selection because uh, Photoshop knows that a layer mask is a better option and then literally pasting content in front of something else. And so the steps that we're going to follow are to make a selection of the content you wish to transfer. We're going to copy or cut the content. Then we're going to make a selection where you wish to place the content. Uh, then we're going to choose edit, paste special, and then paste into. And then the content will automatically be pasted into a new selection via, uh, via an automatically created layer mask. And so if we jump to Photoshop, whoops, if we jump to Photoshop, we can do that. And so I don't have the same images in the slideshow, but I just have these two images here. And maybe I'm going to try to, I don't know, use the, the brick image as the border and then the flower image as the interior. And so with the flower, I'm going to do Command A or Control A to select all and Command or Control C to copy. And then in this image, I am going to make a selection. Let's say it's going to be a, a rectangle selection. And then we can choose Edit, Special or Paste Special and then Paste Into. And the content will be pasted into the selection and it kind of looks like it's just sitting in top, on top of it. But if we look at our layers panel, we've created a layer mask. And from what we know about layer masks, um, the black area is what disappears and the white area is what stays. And so what I said is that the part that you want to be permanent is the part that should be stationary. And the part that you might want to move back and forth, like the sunset to see what part of the clouds should be visible, is the part that should um, is the part that should be able to be moved back and forth. And the way that the layer mask is set up right now is that my white part of the image is, is stationary and then I'm kind of creating a hole through it to see the background. And so I'm actually going to recommend that you do this in the opposite way. So let's do this one more time. Instead, instead of making a selection of our flowers, Let's do Command A to select all, Command C to copy, and let's paste it into the flower image and see what happens, what the difference is. And so now I am going to, make the same selection. And I want to choose edit paste into because that's kind of what we're doing right now. And I get something similar to what I'm looking for, right? I want to be able, to move the flowers in the background, I want to be able to move that around. So if we do edit free transform, oops, I can't move it because the background layer is, is locked. So I'm going to duplicate that. So I want to be able to move the background layer around, right? Maybe I have to, in order to do that, I have to edit free transform and, whoops, edit free transform. Make sure you hit the right thing. Maybe I'm going to make that bigger. And so now I'll have the option to move the background around. And so that's what my goal is. I want to be able to move the flowers around, but I want the frame or the outside border to be the, the bricks. And so we have to do one last step to kind of get this the way we actually want it to do to work. And that is something that I talked about earlier in the slideshow. And the, the option to get it to go the correct pattern or the quick, correct sequencing for what our intended thing is, right? I want the bricks to be stationary and I want the flowers to move in the middle. Um, we can step backward until just before we created that layer mask. And so I'm just watching the layers panel as I do edit step backward. And so now we're at the point where we have the selection and I want the flowers on the inside and I want the bricks on the outside. But when I chose edit, paste special, and paste into, um, it went inside the selection. And so I have two options here. I could do select inverse and choose edit, paste special, paste into. And then I get exactly what I wanted, right? If I look at my layers panel, the white part of my border is gonna stay put 
But now if I move the background around, so I've got to duplicate that background again. If I move the background around, I can move the flowers until I get the part of the flowers that I want. Or better yet, if I, let's step backwards again, instead of inverting my selection, you should notice that there is, under Edit, Paste Special, there's a paste outside. And so instead of flipping the selection, which is more work, you can choose Paste to the outside, and then it did the same exact thing for us. And so I guess my point in, in emphasizing this and doing it all three ways is that there is never a right and a wrong way to set up your layer mask, and there's never a right and a wrong way to follow the steps. And so when I look at the slideshow, the slideshow is saying these are the steps that you're going to use. These are generic steps that will work for the example that's in your textbook or the example that's in the slideshow. But you should start thinking about what's actually happening to your layer mask and what's creating it because that allows you to kind of make decisions. And so before I even combine these images, let's turn this guy off, I should take a look at them and say, well, what, what are my expectations? I want a border that has bricks, and that's going to be the image that has the hole that goes through it for my layer mask. And then I want the flowers on the inside, kind of like, like, the, like the matting of the pictures, the bricks, but the actual um, subject is the flowers. And so I want the flowers in the middle, but I want them to be able to move around. And so what I really want is a layer mask attached to this layer that creates a hole or a window in the middle with this image, the flowers in the background. And so you'll have to kind of troubleshoot that and figure out the steps necessary to get the result that you're looking for. And in this case, um, it was the second or the third option. You can either invert the selection and choose paste into when you have the outside selected, or you can choose paste to the outside if you recognize that the inside would be the wrong part of where you're pasting.